welcome back to another video how you are doing hope you are doing good compliments of the season my name is Cynthia if you are here for the first time you're highly welcome so in this video we're gonna be making this handkerchief dress so we're gonna be using three and a half yards of fabric for this tutorial so we start with the upper part as usual. My fabric is folded into two. I'm cutting the front and the back together. This is the back and this is the front. They are both folded into two. The back is one and a half inches bigger than the front one. This is where we'll be fixing our zip. So we'll go ahead and place the measurement. This is my starting point. So right from this, I will take the length of the upper part. The length of the upper part is 17 inches. I will add one inch for sewing allowance. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16 inches divided by two is eight inches plus half inch sewing allowance. That is eight and a half inches. I mark eight and a half inches here. So I will take three and a half inches for the wideness of the neck. That's the neck width. I will take one inch for the back depth and three and a half inches for the front depth. I will connect the neckline. This is the back neckline. And this is the front neckline. So we go to the shoulder here, mark one inch for shoulder slope. And we connect it to the neckline. So right from this shoulder slope, I will take the round armhole measurement, which is 16 inches, divided by 2 is 8 inches. So I will make a straight line here. So this is now my chest line. I will look for the midpoint of the armhole, 4 inches. Now we connect it right from the midpoint here. So this is my back armhole. Right from this midpoint, I will go inside by half inch and connect it also. This is the front armhole. So this is my chest line and shoulder to bust is 10 inches from shoulder to waist is 17 inches. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance so that is 18 inches. I will place the circumference measurement. The bust measurement is 42 inches divided by 4 is 10 and a half inches. I will add one and a half inches for sewing allowance. So a quarter of the waist measurement is 9 inches. Waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 is 9 inches. So I will add 1 and half inches for sewing allowance. And 1 inch for that. I will connect it right from the chest line to the waistline. I will mark half inch here, inside here. Just to have a... A flat and perfect zip. So go ahead and cut it out. Now we cut the back neck line. So this is the front, and we cut the front neck line. Split the back open and cut this half inch away. So I'll make sure I cut this half inch out. That's the front armhole. So I just want to place the dart measurement. So the boss palm is eight inches divided by two is four inches plus half inch. That's four and a half inches. This is the bust line. 
I will come down one inch from the bust measurement and mark the dots. I will still mark four and a half inches here. I'll connect it. I will take half inch on each side. Half inch on this side and half inch on this side. I'll connect it. This will be easy so that I find it easy to locate where the dart is. So that's it for the upper part. So I'll set this aside, we're cutting out the damp part. I'll be making the damp part like handkerchief uh, flag. So this is my fabric and we fold it into two. I'm folding it this way. This is 16 inches length fabric. See? I folded it this way. I will be using the waist to cut out the flag. To get the radius, I will divide the waist measurement by 6.28. The waist measurement is 36 inches. 36 divided by 6.28 is 7.5. The front part, I want it to be 22 inches after sewing it. I will add that 22 inches to 5.7, that's the radius. 22 plus 5.7 is 27.7. So this is 27.7. I will use this remaining one inch for hemming it at the bottom. I'm making it in a different way. This will go to the front side and this will go to the back side. So I folded it into two. The side will be longer than the mid part. So I want the side to be 39 inches after sewing it. So we add the 39 inches to the radius. 39 plus 5.7 is 44.7. So I will measure 44.7. Let's say 45 inches. So I'll just round it to 45 inches. So this is 45 inches. I will fold this 45 inches like so. So I have it folded into two now. So this side is 45 inches and this side is 45 inches plus the radius. Now I have my fabric folded into four. Remember I folded it like this into two. Then after taking the, the side measurements, I fold it again. So right from this side, I will measure 5.7 inches round. So this 5.7 inches is the radius. I'll connect it. So we'll go ahead and cut it out. So I will make a notch here. This is the front and the back. And this is the two side. I will make a notch here also. See, I want the side here to be longer than the mid parts here. So this side is 23 inches plus sewing allowance and this side is 40 inches plus sewing allowance. So next is for us to cut out the sleeve. I'm cutting a basic sleeve. The sleeve length is 22 inches, I will use 1 inch for band. So this is 9 inches. The armhole is 8 inches, I added 1 inch to it, that is 9 inches. So we come down by 4 inches. My round sleeve is 8 inches, divided by 2 is 4 inches. Because I'm making a little plate here, I will add 2.5 inches to it. So I'll mark 7 inches here. 
So I will take it from here, bring it down here, and take it to meet this seven inches. I'm cutting out two of these. So we are done with the cutting. We'll go ahead and put the fabric together. So I will sew my dart. So this is my dart. So I will sew my dart front and back and attach the zip to the back side. This is my zip. So I will attach the zip before joining the down part to the upper part. I will attach it here. So I will use this to hem the neckline front and back before attaching the zip to it. I will sew it like so. I've done series of this video. So I will sew it and then turn it to the other side and attach my zip. So I will sew my zip up to here. I will leave about one or half inch. I will use this half inch to join it to the done part. I'll finish hemming the neckline. This is my dart. So I've also fixed the zip to the back side. So I fix it up to here and I left about half inch. I'll join this half inch to the done part. So what we are going to do next is to join the front and the back together. I will lay them against each other, right side facing each other. I will use half inch to join the shoulders and then use one and half inch to join the side. Remember one and half inches are so in allowance. So I will mark one and half inches right from the armhole here all the way to the waistline. I will do the same thing for the side. So guys, I'm done joining the front and the back together. So what we are going to do next is to join the upper part to the down part. I will turn the down part to the wrong side. This is the down part. I made a notch here. This is the side, that's the longest part. This center part is the short part. I made a notch here. So this is the center part, that's the 22 inches. I will match it to the midpoint here, uh, match the back side to the back midpoint. So I will match this side, that's the 39 inches to the side, and match this side also to the side of the upper part. I turn the down part to the wrong side. I will tuck this inside. So remember I left half inch here, I will use this half inch I left from the zip to attach it to the down part. I don't want to split this down part open. This is the side. I will match it to the side of the upper part. This is the midpoint. I will match this to the midpoint. I'll match this side also. I will use half inch to join the upper part to the down part. After I've done that, I will sew the side of the sleeve. I will make a little gather here. I will gather it up to 5 inches and sew the side here. Use 1 inch for sewing allowance here. I cut out a 10 inches band and the wideness is 3 inches. After using my gather machine to gather this part here, that's the damp part, I will fold this into two and attach the band round. So guys, I've finished joining the upper part to the damp part. This is the center part. So I've also sewn the sleeves so we'll go ahead and attach the sleeves to the dress. I will turn the dress to the wrong side. This is the right side of the sleeve. 
So I will tuck the sleeve inside, right side facing each other, then match the sizing of the sleeve and the sizing of the dress together. I will use half inch to join the sleeve to the dress, then hem the bottom of the dress. So this is the center of the dress, and this is the side. And I will use one inch to hem this side. I will take half inch twice and hem it right from the side to this side. Then I will hem this side also with one inch. Then hem the back side with one inch. So this is the outcome of the dress. This is the side. This is the side. This is the sleeve. This is the back. So guys, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. And please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channels. I'll link them in the description box. Bye, I love you.